All right, guys, your buddy King Tips here. Check this out. I got another Alienware uh, computer here. This here, I'll give you guys the specs, is the R12. I, I unboxed one of these uh, a while back, but I actually bought two. Uh, and I do actually have a third one coming now. So the third one has the water cooler and a 3090 in there. But if you look here, this one has the 3080, uh, NVIDIA RTX 3080, not the, not the LHR. That's why I bought two of these. And then I got the, uh, and then I got the 3090 um, coming. So I'll unbox that one later and do a quick uh, in-depth. So you guys can watch my previous video on it. So I'm actually have this computer right here. This is another R12 right here. Okay, as you can see, there's the GeForce RTX. So I'm actually gonna, because these ones come with a Hyper Fury X RAM, so I'm actually gonna take one of the RAM chips from there and put it over here. And then I'm not gonna add another two chips that I have onto the other one. So they're actually the exact same RAM. So I'll have them in a, in a dual configuration. And I'm gonna replace these fans with Corsair fans because these ones are super loud. It's like a jet engine, literally jet engine. And then I have Noctua fans I'm gonna put in the other one. So uh, these ones are supposed to be quieter than at least the Dell ones. So um, so yeah, stay tuned guys. I'll be back and get this all unboxed. All right guys, here it is. Check this out, I'm unboxing it right now. So here's the uh, Alienware right there. This is the uh, RAM I'm gonna put in this one. I'm gonna swap one of those chips over here. Uh, and basically this one will, will have a set of Hyper Fury RAM in there. Um, I'm also going to change, uh, as you can see, there's, I got two of these here, so... Um, but I'm also going to change the fans, that thing's super low, noisy. And I have to change the heat, uh, I, have to, I have to change the thermal pads and the, uh, and the thermal paste on the, um, on the RX, RTX uh, 3080. Uh, because it does keep it cool. So once you've done that uh, modification, it keeps it really running at a 65 degrees Celsius. Actually really good, so I have to do that. So stay tuned guys, we'll get this all unboxed and set up. All right, here's the R12. Um, pretty much have to take off the plastic here. I really like this computer, guys. Um, you know, it gets a bad rap for being a hot box, but it actually is a pretty good computer overall. If you can get it with liquid cooling and things like that, it actually turns out really well. So um, definitely check it out. And if you have any questions or comments, um, I'm going to get this unboxed. Uh, just don't forget to post them below and I'll get to them when I can. So, all right. All right, just in case people want to see again, here's the ports on the back. Uh, so we've got Ethernet, USBs, tons of USB ports, okay? All the all USB, USB-C there. You got the jacks in the front. You got the, um, you got all this. So it is a really good, like, machine like, if you think about it. It actually is like for bang, bang for the buck, it is actually a pretty good machine. All right guys, stay tuned. Let's do this. We're gonna take this part. All right, here's one machine, here's the other. So I'm gonna get these all set up, so. And let's open this baby up right now. This hinge comes up. It's actually quite heavy. Yeah, this machine, by the way, guys, is super heavy. There it is, there's the Hyper Fury X RAM in there, as you can see. Um, but we're gonna take this all apart and hopefully I can change the fans out without breaking it. So, all right, let's do this, guys. I'll be back. All right, first things first, guys, I'm gonna swap the RAM. So all you do, you wanna ground yourself, hit, touch some metal first and hit that part right there. That'll pop it up on that side and then you wanna hit the other side right here. Sometimes you don't get enough clearance because of the graphics card, but this one's pretty easy. There we go. So that is now unseated. And then, oh, hold on, there we go. Oh, that's really in there. That is the RAM that the Dell puts in there. So you get a good eye on that. So if you look here, it's a 16 gig XMP RAM. And yeah, looks nice. This is what's on the side. Fury RAM DDR4. Not bad, it's a Kingston. So 
All right, so I'm gonna put that in the other machine and then I'm gonna put the XPG RAM into this one. So uh, this that one was 3200 megahertz. This one is, what is it for here? 3466. So this one's a little bit faster. So, all right. All right, so there it is. The RAM's all in there. All you do is have to just line it up and just slap it right in there. It'll click when it's in there. So um, the RAM's pretty, pretty easy to put in. So you can't really screw up. All right, guys, uh, that RAM's in. So I'm gonna put in, we're gonna put the XPG RAM in now. This baby right here. And then when my third machine comes, I'll be putting in um, another set onto that one as well. So it's also an XPG RAM, so. All right, let's do this. All right, so as you can see, the XPG RAM's in that one. And then the Fury X RAM is on that one. So, which is really cool. I got it all set up in a dual channel form. And yeah, all right guys, so let's do this. I'm gonna take out that video card and work on that next, and then take out the case fans. Oh, this is gonna be a, a long time of work, so let's do this. Okay, so there it is. I took out the uh, video card that's sitting right here. So we're gonna unscrew it. You can watch my previous video of how I did this. I'm gonna add the thermal paste, uh, fix the uh, heat pads. If I find something weird, I'll, I'll, video, I'll, I'll um, video it, um, but I'm gonna change this fan out eventually, and yeah, this is a work in progress, so let's do this. First things first, video card. As you can see, the screws are out. I did this in record time because I've already done this on my other computer. Uh, it makes it a lot easier once you know what you're doing, so. Now, you have to be careful with this one is because it actually has the thermal pads with it, so. See that? There are the thermal pads. These are actually okay to do. Use. Okay, so first things first, you gotta remove these stickers and there's the thermal paste. You gotta add more, put some thermal paste around this area and we're good to go. The pads look good, so well, I'm gonna do that and uh, I'll be back. So I'm gonna scrub this off with some alcohol. All right, as you can see, I cleaned up the uh, stickers and then I'm gonna put the thermal paste around this. More paste, more better. I'll tell you this, uh, this thing runs hot, so um, yeah. And then uh, I'm gonna close it up and then we'll be good. So just stay tuned guys. What I'm using as thermal paste is the Noctua, the good stuff. So this is the Noctua premium design thermal paste. So let's do this. All right guys, as you can see, I repasted it right on the sides of there. Uh, people always wonder, like people always say, oh, too much paste, too much paste on videos. I'm like, who cares? Like more paste, the better, it doesn't overheat. So yes, it's messy, but no one really cares. So anyways, it's not like you're looking at it. Um, yeah, it might overflow, but yeah, it's okay. You can clean it off later. All right, guys, uh, let's uh, close it up. I'll be back. All right, guys, as you can see, the video card is all done, all set, and it's ready to go. Now I'm gonna have to change the fans up. So the fans come out with a notch. So unplug it right here. There's a fan plug there, and this case thing pops out. This is a catch, and then the top one's gonna be hard to remove because it's actually screwed in. So. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the top one, I might just do the side one here, so. Alright guys, stay tuned. So here's the fan, how it's clipped in is like this. So this is, uh, you have to push inwards to get it out. That little blue knob, push it down, and it's clipped in. There's the cable, it goes in this way. So but what you want to do is unclip this and put in a good fan. So, alright, let's do this. Oh, if you guys want to know the details of the fan, I will, uh, this is what Dell uses. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so the Corsair fan's all set. As you can see, I have to do some cable management. And this is what Dell uses in their computers. If you guys were wondering. All right, the top fan. I have to think about how to do that one. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, if you were wondering, there's only one slot for an NVMe drive. So here's a good look at the motherboard. But there is room for a water pump and a fan. Okay, so I took the top fan out, guys. So how you do it is you unscrew the two screws on either side of that, and then you slide it. Slide it to the right, and it'll pop right off. Um, the housing here, and you can see it has a housing for a liquid cooler right there. So, um, but yeah, here's the second fan. So I'm going to unhook this, and this is what it looks like. So the wiring goes behind the back there, and the... Uh, goes towards the top PC case. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hook this and then I'm gonna put a Corsair in there. So stay tuned guys. 
So one of the problems with the top case fan is these dampeners that are here. Um, you, ha you might have to cut them or rip them off. So that's I don't, I don't have they don't Corsair didn't give you any spares, so I can't really use them. I could screw it in, um, but that's not going to work well. Ah oh, man, so I might just keep the top case fan in uh, because of that. All right, guys, and I'm, I'm probably going to buy some dampeners. All right, I'll be back. Stay tuned, guys. I'll put this back in. Hey guys, this machine is totally ready to go. I'm gonna do the other one now. So um, I'll be back and then I'll post it uh, on the uh, computer and, and uh, see how well it turns out with the new quieter fans. All right, stick in guys.